ready to Welcome back. Welcome back. So, as we promised, we're going to describe to you how to make a top hat out of cardboard. It's really, really, really easy. It's literally like you need zero skill. So, it's super easy. It's super cute. It's literally five minutes or so. You just need a bunch of cardboard, some paint, tape, glue gun. So enjoy the video, bitch! So you're going to start with a big piece of cardboard, some colors of choice for your hat, and a thick brush. Next you're going to measure the circumference of your head, add an inch or a half just to give it space for your hair. Next you're going to take a straight ruler and mark a line that you're going to cut. Um, you can make it as long or as short as you desire. Then you're going to move with a straight razor and make a slice on one side and then an incision on the other and then you're going to pop it right out. Next you're going to take a cylindrical circular shape thing. You know, find something that's a circle shape so you can make a mold. Then you're going to roll it out and then attach both sides so you have a nice round shape. Take the hot glue. You want to make sure you get a lot of glue on there because there's little holes in between the cardboard and you want to fill that up. So once you get the glue on there, you're going to attach both sides, hold it in place, wait for it to dry, keep it nice and sturdy. Then once it dries, you're going to go back in with the hot glue and fill in any holes or crevices um, and then top it with a piece of painter's tape or masking tape so you get a nice clean finish. Nice and tight, nice and clean. Then you're going to use the shape as a stencil for the top of your hat. So trace around that. Next, you're going to measure across the diameter of the circle. You want to make sure it's even. You don't have this janky shape. You want a circle. So mark the center. Then after you do that, you're going to go around the outside and we're going to move on to the brim. So you make sure it's the same size and then cut it out. You want to make sure that your circles are even so you have a, a nice shape hat. You don't have this doofy looking hat on your head. So go ahead and cut that out. Make sure it's nice and clean. Then you're going to move on to the inside. Be very careful with your X-Acto knife. Don't slice your damn finger. And you're going to cut it out. Uh, and then pop it out. Next you move on again with the hot glue. Make sure you get a lot of glue on there. Then you're gonna attach the top of the hat. If there are any gaps or spaces, just fill it in with the hot glue because you can paint over it later. And repeat the same for the brim of the hat at the bottom. Again, if there's any gaps or holes or any inadequacies, just fill it in. Then you're gonna take your paint, get your desired color, and then go to town. You know, paint, paint, paint. Try to make sure it's all the same level and you know, don't get any patchy spots. Uh, this part's pretty quick. Make sure that you paint any small nooks and crevices and pay attention to spaces like the top of the hat and underneath the brim. And then there you go. There is your Willy Wonka hat. All right, guys. So. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you can probably use it. I'm sure Willy Wonka is not the only thing you can use this top hat for. You can yes. also be a nice... Yes! You can use it for cosplay, other costumes that involve top hat. Excuse the car that just passed, by the way. Okay. Cosplay, other costumes that require top hats. A passenger on the oh. Titanic, like... Does he have a hat? Right? The hat gives you life. You just put it on, you're like, oh, <clears throat> I'm tall. Thank you so much for watching. Again, like our video, subscribe to our channel. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, oh. Did you die? Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel, like our video, and comment down below. Let us know any more ideas or anything you want to see. We'll figure it out and show you, or just holla at us, you know. Don't, don't holla at me. <laughs> yeah, don't be. Don't be on my DMs. I'm busy. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next time for another Halloween DIY. Bye. Bye.